All right there, so I just wanted to show you my two paintings here that I've done, which I, which I think are just so exquisite. I call them I call them the Vicomte and the Vicomtesse because they are a pair to me anyway. Um, that's the Vicomte and that's the Vicomtesse. And we'll start off with the Vicomtesse and how exquisite she is. Yes, yeah, so this is the Vicomtesse and um, she's just so magnificent um, to me really. I painted her in about five hours. Um, and she, I think she turned out absolutely magnificent. Um, I think she's so pretty and so, you know, it's so realistic looking. And I do think it's one of my most professional pictures I've ever done, really. So I've done a few alterations, because this picture is actually a pre-existing painting that was already done, but I sort of changed a few bits of it to make it sort of more my own. Uh, for instance, for her hair here, um, I made it a bit wider and a bit taller. Um, to sort of suit my own tastes. And then on her necklace here, I put on this pendant thing to give it that extra bit of uh, extravagance. And also these beads around her neck, an extra line of um, beads underneath. So she has a big choker on. I think she's just so well executed. She has flowers in her hair here, if you can see, with some leaves poking out and what have you. I did paint a couple of extra uh, flowers on there to give it a bit more... Um, extravagance but there she is the contest the vicontest i've signed it and um i do hope you like that one and now we'll have a look at the vicont so the vicont is actually already again is a pre-existing painting that i sort of found but again i've altered it and made it sort of more my own uh for instance his wig is slightly bigger than what was in his painting uh, his face is also a bit different as well the shading is slightly different um i do alter things because I think when you're, when you're painting, um, you know, people get frustrated because they can't paint things exactly as they want it to be if they're copying it another painting. If you sort of go with your gut and paint it how you want to paint it and what suits you, I do think that painting does come out a lot better, really. And, um, you know, this is how I think this really came out. And you can see there's so many different colours in his face. Um, I, I do the face in layers, you see. Um... I start off under the eyes and the forehead and the chin, sort of blend it all and uh, mix it all together. But I think his face and the whole uh, the whole painting itself is just so, so well executed. And he looks very noble in all of his robes. Um, you see a bit of lace under his, uh, under his neck there, his sort of cravat thing. And his velvet, sort of dark purple velvet jacket. Um, he's just wonderful, yeah, so good. And uh, I painted all of his hair, as you can see, all the individual strokes. And uh, the background itself, I'd, what I do is also is I draw the picture of the person in the centre as just a, a, a sketch. Then I paint the background. And then I paint the person. Because if you paint the whole background first, the entire thing, the whole canvas of the background, you don't get the bright colours that you're looking for. You see, if you're painting on a dark background and you're painting something in the centre, but you painted the entire canvas dark, uh, I suggest that you paint a white base first and then paint on top of that. Because if you're looking to get them brighter colours, like skin, for example, and how it catches the light, uh, I would strongly suggest leaving the centre part, which you're going to paint, blank, and then just paint the background because... That's how it works out for me, you see, and this is how this is why these paintings have turned out so splendid, is because I've just used these little tiny techniques um, to make my painting even more spectacular. But I do hope you like this. Um, I, I love them. I love the 18th century. I love anything to do with like Marie Antoinette and Versailles and everything like that. So um, okay, I guess these paintings here are kind of a tribute to my massive obsession and my interest and i do hope you guys like them and do let me know what you think and just a quick another glance at him and there we go the vicomte and the vicomtesse thanks for watching bye bye